Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the California Angels at Anaheim Stadium. On the mound for Detroit is Burt Blylevin, whose record is 5-4 with a 4.06 ERA. And pitching for the Angels today is Ed Halicki, whose record is 11-16 with a 4.48 ERA. Okay, so yesterday's game was a complete and total disaster. We lost 6-2 to two to the Angels to start this 10-game road, uh, road trip with the um, season on the line. We are a half game back of the Yankees. And um, to make matters worse, I forgot to uh, make this video um, uh, available to view. I had it set to private, which is what I do when I'm editing it. And I forgot to click it over. So... If you missed yesterday's game and you're watching today's game, uh, fair warning, I was really pissed off uh, throughout this game. I was really mad, and there is a lot of cursing, especially at Joe Rudy, uh, who was playing left field for them, and he hit a home run, his first home run of the year. He's rated 62 uh, overall, and he hit a home run, and that's when I think I just about snapped Something broke in my brain, and I just started going off. Um, it's actually, as an exercise, uh, you know, in um, uh, watching someone uh, completely lose their mental faculties, it's probably funny, but uh, in other <laughs> ways I'll look at it, you probably just might, might, I would be okay if you skipped that game and just went right to today's game, where we have uh, Burt Blylevin pitching today. We are in desperate need of a win. We have three Tigers that are tired today. We'll take a look here in a minute as uh, Burt Blylevin will get the start. <clears throat> uh, according to this, he has not faced any California Angels batter. I don't know if that's true. All of the bullpen is available today. And um, here is the lineup versus Ed Holicki. The problem is we just had a day off two days ago. We played a game yesterday. And now we have three Tigers listed as tired, which are um, Whitaker, Hatcher, and I believe the other one is Eddie Murray. But as I said before, we are going to play right through, and these are our best players, and that's what we're going to uh, try to do to win the ball game. We did get Alan Trammell back off the uh, IL yesterday. He did have a hit. Um, and the good news is Mickey Hatcher did get an RBI. He's got 90 RBI now, so... Uh, very much an outside chance of getting 100 RBI. That's the only one that he has so far in the month of September. Let's go ahead and do the Tigers' official lineup rundown for today's game against the right-hander Ed Holicki. Batting leadoff in right field is Eddie Miller. Batting second at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting third at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting cleanup in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting fifth at first base is Eddie Murray. Batting sixth in catching is Lance Parrish. Batting seventh in center field is Andre Dawson. Batting eighth in DHing is Kevin Bass. And batting ninth, playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Ed Holicki on the mound. 11 and 16 on the season with that 448 ERA, um, 229 innings pitched already with 136 strikeouts. Not a bad uh, walk to inning pitch ratio, uh, considering he's already given up 127 runs this year. Youch. Uh, four complete games, two shutouts. His fastball tops out around 88 miles an hour. And that is his best pitch, rated in 89. He's got a slider that's above average and a changeup he mixes in. Uh, overall rating is an 88. And uh, while he is under contract until 1986, and he, was, uh, he wasn't really out of baseball in 1982, but he was not in the major leagues after the 82 season. So uh, I wonder what his, I mean, he's already 11 and 16. I kind of wonder what's going to happen to him next. Uh, will he just completely fall off the table? Here is the defensive alignment for the uh, Angels today. Everybody looks like they're back in their regular position. 
with Harper back at catcher. They had, I mean, oh, I don't even want to get into it. I'm going to start getting angry right now. But they had Brian Downing behind the plate yesterday with a uh, sub-80 arm. And he was throwing out batters uh, running. It was just unbelievable. Here's Eddie Miller leading off with a walk. Okay, Harper, was it 80? Okay, so Harper's not a good defensive catcher either. Look, let's be aggressive. If we're going to lose this thing, if we're going to lose the East, we may as well go down being aggressive as Miller gets a stolen base, his 28th on the season. So runner in scoring position for Sweet Lou. Lou one for three in his career against Holicki. And a base hit to right. There we go. Miller scores easy. Uh, no, we're not going to go for two. Uh, although I just said <laughs> about being aggressive. Um, I mean, it's a 50% chance, and we know that's like a 0% chance. Well, we, we will hit and run with uh, Mickey Hatcher. Definitely struggling. Batting average just holding over 300 as he taps it back to Holicki. Now look at Whitaker in his scoring position for Gibson. Hatcher and Gibby both still sitting on 19 home runs. Gibson hits a ground ball to short. Wow, Whitaker is aggressive. He went to third on a ground ball to Lubertich. So Whitaker, 90 feet away as Eddie Murray steps in. Murray's still betting 304 versus right-handers, so I guess that's something positive. And he hits a grounder to Lubertich, and he boots it. So another run scores. And this feels like a makeup game already. We'll take it as Murray safe at first for Big Wheel, and Parrish pops it up onto the first base chalk line, and that'll do it. So... We get two runs in the first, only on one hit. There was a walk and an error in there. And we go to the bottom of the first, up two. Here is the Angels lineup rundown for today's game. Batting leadoff in center field is Gary Pettis. Batting second at third base is Carney Lansford. Batting third and catching is Brian Harper. Batting cleanup and DHing is Daryl Sconyers. Batting fifth in right field is Mike Brown. Batting sixth at first base is John Harris. Batting seventh at shortstop is Steve Lubertich. Batting eighth at second base is Bobby Gritch. And batting ninth in left field is Don Baylor. Let's take a look at Burt real quick. Making his 15th start as a Tiger, 34th start overall. He's 5 and 4 with that 406 ERA. Uh, on the verge of hitting 100 innings pitched in a Tigers uniform. Um, 59 Ks and 93 innings pitched. That's really fallen off. He was going uh, a strikeout an inning for a while there. Opponents are batting 261 against him. He's got a complete game. Uh, fastball tops out at 90. He's a fly ball pitcher. His sidearm curve is his best pitch, rated in 88. He's got a regular curve that's solid. And then he's got a fastball to change that are not so good. I, I saw he's not happy. I clicked on it. Burt doesn't like living in Detroit. He would like a change of pace. Why don't we try winning for a change of pace, Burt? And a little less complaining. Okay. Uh, here is the Tigers' defensive alignment for today's game. It's all the same. Nice having Trammel back in there as shortstop. <clears throat> okay, Gary Pettis leading off. Pettis had a good game yesterday. Reaching base three times, and there's a base at the left. So the leadoff man is on, and Pettis, as you know, has a ton of speed. Next up is Carney Lansford, swinging and missing. So Pettis not running. As Blylevin strikes out Lan uh, Lansford. So I have a feeling he's going to be running with Harper at the plate. Yep, on a curveball too. So he picked a good pitch to run as Pettis steals second, number 44 of the season. That's good for third best in the AL. Next, uh, so a 1-1 one -one count for Harper, who taps it back to Burt. Burt underhands it to first. So the cleanup man, Daryl Sconyers, 
batting 255 overall with a runner on third and he strikes out looking so we strand Pettis at third base that was a good uh, good inning there really for um, Burt we go to the top of the second here's Hawk leading off Hawk Bass and Trammell Dawson hits a ground ball to second there's one down Next up is Kevin Bass. He's going to fly out to Baylor in the left. And that'll leave it up to Alan Trammell to get something started. Maybe a two-out rally. Uh, ground ball to third. That'll do it. A one, two, three. Bounce back inning for Halicki. We go to the bottom of the second. Mike Brown leading off against Burt Wylevin. Uh, get some good wood on it. Those oppo to right, 300 feet. Caught by Miller. One down. And John Harris sends it to deep center field. Again, he's a fly ball pitcher, so this is no surprise. Just got to keep these sluggers in the park. And then he strikes out Lubertich. Three Ks for Blylevin. Gosh, I hope he's going to throw a good game today. Top of the third, top of the lineup. Eddie Miller lines it to left, and Baylor, not a good defensive left fielder, makes the catch on the speedy Miller. One down. Sweet Lou strikes out. And Sticky Mickey, ground ball to third. Oh boy. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Game's moving along. Here's Bobby Gritch. First step out of the day. And he gets a base knock to left. So leadoff man is on for the uh, second time today. Potential double play candidate. Although, again, not a ground ball pitcher. As Don Baylor steps in and he gets a base at the left too. All right. Well, now we have some problems brewing. Here is Gary Pettis. We're going to play, play straight away, but no speed on the base path. And three hits to left field, and it's two to one. Unbelievable. I mean, I don't know what else to do. As Blylevin strikes out Lansford, 4K to Burt. I mean, Burt was never going to throw a shutout, so I guess we shouldn't get two down on him yet. As Harper rips it to left, and Gibby makes the play on that one. Everything to left field. Um, wow, look at Daryl Skonier's batting stance here. <laughs> kind of almost looks the same, except for maybe the maybe dropping the uh, wrists a little bit. That'd be cool if uh, Clay could find a way to incorporate the actual batting stance. Okay, so first and second, two down. Here's Daryl Skonier's. And there we go, the game is tied. Two all. Here's Mike Brown. Ground ball to third. And that'll do it. All right. We go to the top of the fourth. Gibby up. I mean, it's such a shame to watch the season go right down the toilet. We've got no offense. Our pitching has really let us down. And no timely hitting. And we have to really just rely on the other team making mistakes. That's the only thing we can do. How is Ed Holicki a better pitcher than Burt Blylevin? But Blylevin's given up five hits, and Holicki's given up one. Uh, plus, we have better defense than they do. You know, it's it, I don't understand how to correct things like this because it doesn't make any logical... There's no logical explanation for it. Here's Bobby Gritch with two down and a ground ball to short. It's like the game manufactured those two runs in that, I mean, a lot of them has been great, but otherwise, you know, he had to give up those two runs somehow. A walk to Hawk. So, all right, we have a leadoff man on. That's nice. Now, Kevin Bass lost his 80 contact. <clears throat> I guess we're going to let him swing away here. Yep. 
He did some good wood on it. God, he crushed it. Right to the warning track in right field. Um, we're going to let Trammell swing away. I mean, why not? Fly ball to right center field. Oh, fall in? No, it will be caught. So now we're going to have Dawson steal. 71% chance with our leadoff man up. He can't hit anymore either. Yeah, and Dawson's thrown out. So, well, I don't know what to say anymore. As uh, Blylevin gets his fifth strikeout. I mean, it's not like Blylevin's having a horrible game. This is actually not a bad game for him. As Gary Pettis steps up. Keep this guy off the base path. Show some pop. 343 feet to dead center field. Two down. And Lansford. Wow, I thought that was going to be strike three. That curveball. Instead, he flies out to right, and that'll do it. We're going to the top of the six. Take a look at the end game stats. We have one freaking hit. So, I, I mean, I guess Whitaker technically is the player of the game. He did drive in a run. Eddie Miller, ground ball to third. What's new? Whitaker strikes out. And Hatcher pops up. Game is tied, going to the bottom of the sixth. We're, Burp Lyle have been only at 63 pitches, so we're going to keep running him out there. I mean, why not? Harper pops it up. One down. Daryl Sconiers. He also pops it up. It's time to short. Trammell backpedaling into the outfield grass to make the play. And Mike Brown lines out to Tram. Okay, so James, game is moving along. We've got to say that much at least. Here's Gibby leading off. We need somebody to run into one. It's like we haven't had batting practice since a month and a half. And, you know, I mean, injuries are a big part of this. As Murray strikes out five Ks for Halicki. And Parrish puts a jolt into it. Caught the warning track. We're going to the bottom of the seventh. We've got the lefty, John Harris, leading off. He's 0 for 2 against Burt. Not anymore. That's a double. Lead off double for John Harris. 29th of the season. There's nothing we can do. Just play it out. Now we'll give the Angels the lead. Bobby Gritch, ground ball in the hole. Double play. So the Angels take the lead, 3-2. to two. We head to the top of the eighth. We are one, getting one hit by Ed Holicki, who wasn't even in Major League Baseball in 1982. Hawk's going to gap it off the wall. Um, I have absolutely no faith that we'll be able to execute anything here. Uh, only the second hit. That is uh, Dawson's 14th double of the year. Hall of Famer. With 14 doubles and 14 home runs. We're going to hit to the right side. Try to get Bass to move Dawson over. Strikes out. I mean, I don't even know what to say anymore, to be honest. Um, there's no point in bunting here. We'll just swing away. Let me just crush it. As Dawson tags up and goes to third. And Lou. Slow roller to second. Y11, 93 pitches. Gets Pettis to pop up. Lansford pops up. Harper grounds out. This is it. We're down to our final three outs as Ed Holicki has completely dominated us. Hatcher pops up.
Gibson grounds out. Murray falls out. Man, I don't know what to say. Uh, I mean, I guess this is just what happens when you suffer all these injuries. There's the National League. Um, New York now has a one-game lead. Wow, that's crazy. Good job by the Mets taking over first place. Tigers are one and a half back, and that might be all it's going to take at this point. Um, we can't score any runs. And we are 3-7 and seven in our last 10. Uh, and Kansas City is still holding on, but there's just no way they're going to catch Seattle, even though Seattle's kind of faltered at this point. Our batting average has gone down to 260. It's dropped 10 points in a month. We've stopped hitting home runs. Um, and we have no timely hitting. Let's take a look at the headlines. I can't even get pumped for it. Uh, four hits for Powell. That's more hits. That's twice as many hits by Hoskin Powell than we hit the whole ball game against Ed Holicki. Think of it that way. Uh, he went four for six. Had three stolen bases. Wow! Let's look at his scouting. That's awesome. We had three stolen bases, and he has eight on the year. Somebody's playing for a contract. Look at that. That's impressive. I mean, Dawson getting thrown out. Uh, stealing that was probably the end of the ball game for us. Uh, New York pads their league lead as a uh, Weaver pitches strong nine innings. We've got a complete game. Uh, Texas number eight here, Bump Wills was unable <laughs> to reach base. Okay, nice. And Tom Dunbar got into a game. Let's take a look at the scouting on Weaver 15 and 11, and a opponent's batting average under 200. There's another one, and Ed Halicki excels, along with just two hits. Yeah. yeah. And there's his scout. He's got 12 wins. He beat us. Well, let's take a look at transactions. Uh, Jose De Leon. These were all the same, right? Yeah, there's, so there's nothing new. This is the third. So, no new transactions in two days. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. I mean, who's the player of the game? Maybe, I guess we'll give it to Whitaker. At least he drove in a run. Dawson had a double, uh, but he was caught stealing. Miller did have a stolen. I mean, I, what do we do, folks? Do I just put in all the backups for a day? I mean, we don't even have enough backups to uh, have a ball game. I guess that's my fault, right? I mean, we, we should have a better depth than we do not. Um, we've had to use our depth to play every day, and uh, it has not been to our advantage. So that's going to do it today. We're going to come back. I mean, we're going to play this out. That's all we can do. Uh, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be pretty. Uh, but you know what? There's always next year, I guess. So until tomorrow, everyone, have a great night.